Hi, this is Joe Bowling, and I'm trying to, with this video, answer a question on how do you crop your webcam so that it only includes your green screen and not area outside the green screen uh, so that you have just what you need. Now, as you see right now, my green screen is cropped and it is just my blue background that I have. So I'll show you how to do that. And maybe it'll be the solution you need to use for your situation. Okay, I'm in Minicam now as a user recording the whole screen. And I'll show you the procedures I go through. Now, there will be some screens that may not show up in the recording. Well, I'll explain what I'm doing. So let's say I'm creating a new preset and choosing a new source. So I select the camera. In this case, it's going to be my Logitech C920 camera. And then I'm going to bring it up. And it's pretty well set now because it's also uh, been set for another preset. But I'll show you the procedures I go through. So what I do is I come up to the crop transform area, the very top of the menu, it looks, and select it. And there is to the top right a crop button that I click on which brings up the screen. Now, as it would come up the first time, it would come up with everything showing on that that the camera can see. So what I do is I first turn on or toggle the apply crop to all layers containing the source. And therefore, if I select it for any other preset, it'll be fine. After I've got that toggle on, then I'm going to come up and try to proportionately resize the image by dragging diagonally down to get that side taken care of and come over to the other side and drag down a little bit there and take care of it. And I think I might come up just a little bit above my head and get that set. And that pretty much will be what I want for my green screen area to be captured. Then I click the apply crop button and after I've done that, then I hit the X to exit out of the cropping area. Now I've got that all set. Then I want to come up once again to the uh, crop trans uh, transform area. And instead of using the fit default, I'm going to use the fill or the stretch. So I hit the drop down and choose, in this case, I'm going to try fill. And I also did the flip accidentally at the same time. Let me flip myself back. Okay, so now you see that I've got the head in. Okay, it's filled out to the sides. Then I'm pretty much set and have everything ready to go. At this point, I can go over to the virtual background area in the menu, which I have right now my favorites. I'm going to turn on the uh, virtual background. And I'm going to choose to um, use the chroma key in this case. And I'm going to use, um, let's say I'm going to pick uh, the uh, white brick background wall on that. And at that point, I've got the uh, color picker set. And I'm going to come over and start clicking out my green screen area. I'm erasing it. Trying to get as much of that green it's bleeding through and you'll see there's still some coming around my head area what I do is then come up to the zoom area and zoom me up a little bit so I can get near my ear there we go come over near my ear click there and start to get pretty much rid of everything then I also come back over to the virtual background menu and one of the things I'll do is also um, deal with the size area of that. Let me change this so I can see this. And I'll choose to um, maybe add some changes to the blur. Tell you what, let me flip that there and we'll change that and I'll get the um, shrink contour set a little bit. Bring it in just a little bit. There it is. Now I can also do some adjustment here if I want. And that might clean up things just a little bit too in the colors. 
and that's pretty good for now and I could take a little bit more time I'll reset now myself back to 100% and that looks pretty good and that's how I do it and now if I use it for any other uh, source even with a different background it'll work fine so hopefully that answers your question on how to take care of getting your system set and what we're going to do is remember that what we do is get our source we choose at the top our crop transform window choose the crop button resized for our green screen and then uh, we set it so it does it for all sources and we click apply get back to the transform area and choose uh, to either fill or stretch and that'll get your screen filled out all the way so hopefully that'll help you well i hope i answered your question on how to take your webcam's wide angle shot crop it down to fit your green screen and then to manage the layer by stretching it to fill the screen and then choosing to either fill or stretch your image to fill the whole screen up if that works for you great and you guys have a great day and enjoy your mini cam take care